Episode 2. We may not realize it, but certain activities that we do in our daily lives are influenced by forces not in our world. And I'm not talking about paranormal ghostly stuff here, guys. Have you ever asked yourself, why do we wake up when the sun rises and fall asleep after the sun sets? Why do we feel gloomy when it's cold and raining and happy when the sun is shining brightly? Our bodies do not just react to the world around us. We are programmed to connect to the world outside our own. This is matter. And today, let's learn about how the human body reacts to cosmic forces. The idea that the human body is similar to the universe is not a new one. According to the teachings of Taoism, a philosophical and spiritual belief system that arose in 6th century China, the human being is a microcosm, corresponding closely to this macrocosm, and that the human body reproduces the plans of the cosmos. Isn't that cool? Taoists believe that the human body shares the same blueprint as the universe. On top of that, a deeper understanding of the universe can be done when you look inside yourself and understand the inner workings of your own body. A study conducted by Dmitry Kriokov and his team of researchers from the University of California, San Diego in 2012 shows striking similarities between neural networks in the brain and network connections between galaxies. They found that the web of neurons in the brain looks amazingly like the cosmic network of galaxies, to the point that if you put photos of them side by side, you'll have a hard time identifying which is which. Their similarities don't just end there. Neuroscientists have discovered that the brain has approximately 69 billion neurons, while physicists note that the observable universe has a cosmic web of at least 100 billion galaxies. Those numbers aren't far off from one another. Most of the elements of our body were formed from stars over the course of billions of years and multiple star lifetimes. You could even imagine that your body is made of stardust. I'm not kidding here. Iris Shriver of Stanford University wrote that our bodies are made of remnants of stars and massive explosions in the galaxies. All the material in our bodies originates with that residual stardust, and it finds its way into planets, and from there into the nutrients that we need for everything we do, think, move, grow. You're literally a star, fam. Your DNA contains your genetic information, and this allows all forms of life to function, grow, and reproduce. It also acts like a sponge that absorbs light. In 1984, Dr. Peter Garayev discovered what is now called the DNA phantom effect, which is a pretty cool name if you ask me. Here's what happened. Dr. Garayev was conducting an experiment to measure how light scattered. He and his team placed some DNA in front of the laser and performed the experiment. From there, they saw how the DNA absorbed the light instead of scattering it. What's even more surprising was when they took the DNA away, the light molecules, also known as photons, continued to act as if the DNA was still there. For some reason, the photons retained the shape of the DNA and stayed that way for 30 days. Another study by Dr. Fritz Albert Popp demonstrated a different aspect of DNA in light. According to Dr. Pop, DNA isn't just about chemicals, which is what many scientists have been theorizing before. It operates at a level beyond that. His work showed that DNA in living cells store and release photons. These biophotonic emissions, as they call it, may hold the key to illness and health, maybe even life and death. Biophotons are light molecules produced by living organisms. A single human DNA molecule contains 1,000 photons. Multiply that by the 93 trillion DNA molecules in our body. That means that we have so much light inside of us that we should be glowing. Now that's a superpower I'd like to have. Dr. Pop said that these biophotons hold the key to many biological phenomena inside our body, like cell growth and differentiation, even microbial infections. He noticed that sick cells produce less light than healthy cells. This raises the question of, what if the basis of our health is photonic? The sun is the center of our solar system for a reason. When there is light, there is life that flourishes. 
Light is crucial to human functioning because it affects us psychologically and physiologically. Mind and Body Exposure to sunlight is thought to increase the brain's release of serotonin, a hormone that boosts our mood and helps keep us focused. In a 2003 study conducted by Peter Boyce and his team, they found that exposure to adequate light enables direct absorption for critical chemical reactions within the human body. That's why it is very important to go outside once in a while and spend some time relaxing in the sunlight. Not only does it improve your mood, it will also help your body heal and reconnect to the vast open universe that we're all a part of. Just don't forget your sunscreen, okay? Do you enjoy going out in the sun? What are some of your favorite sunny day activities? Let us know in the comments section below. We read all your comments and we really love hearing from you. What do you want us to show you in our next video? You can catch all our latest uploads by subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon. Until next time, Matter Fam.